the different interfaces in interaction designs from the old school tool and human interactions, um, how they're honed for those different mental models um, is really important and important to understand. Uh, one of the things I'm seeing happen now is Jive and Salesforce Chatter, there's a module that plugs into Jive so somebody can be living in Jive and have a conversation with Salesforce Chatter folks and they're both living within their germane interface. Um, that works in the manner that works for the personality types for the people that use those tools. And so it's the silo approach on the way that things make sense. And if you blow up silos, silos rebuild. Because um, people tend to attract to likes. Um, because there's easy understanding. The mental models are similar. The vocabularies are, are similar. Um, and so doing away with those silos in large organizations, they have somewhat value. They may need to be restructured and rebuilt. Um, but that takes time and builds in inefficiency. But embracing sort of the underlying reason why they're there um, is good to understand. 